name is Laura Knibling and I graduated from the U uh, in 2016. So I went to St. Lawrence from 2012 to 2016. And St. Lawrence was just such an incredible part of my college experience. It was pretty much everything that I needed when I went to college because I was really starting to become more curious about my faith, become a lot more involved in my faith. And so just the fellowship and the community really, really just was a key to building that foundation. But St. Lawrence also provided me with the rest of the tools necessary to build up my faith life. And those are like, accessibility to the sacraments, um, retreats, the community in general, and just opportunities to, to lead and to grow. Those experiences that I had with outreach and serving others really helped shape even my everyday life now. I see so many comparisons of um, my time at the U and what we did at the U, our experiences at St. With Saint, at Saint Lawrence. And my experiences now in my life and in my work. And I know that that was sown and developed through the ministries of CSU and SPO and just the leadership at St. Lawrence. Right now, I am a youth specialist at a nonprofit in Maplewood. Uh, we work with large homeless or large families transitioning out of homelessness. And I work with a youth of all ages just to help make sure that they are getting accessibility to services, um, making sure they have what they need in schools. And I just help run after school programming for them as well. But I think like the biggest part of my job is really just walking with them and helping them know that every single day they are seen and they are loved and they're cared for. Since graduating, I think my faith life has had a lot of ups and downs. Like I think so many people's does. Um, and my biggest struggle in my everyday life and keeping my faith is struggling with complacency. It's hard not to compare the faith life that I have now to the habits that I had in college because the sacraments were so accessible at St. Lawrence, which is just one of the biggest blessings. But now there's so many barriers that get in the way um, with everyday life. Uh, so I think for me, it's really just about checking my intentions and finding a balance of what is reasonable with where I'm at, but also just pushing past what's too comfortable. In terms of everyday prayer, I completed a rosary novena a couple months back and I've kept up with a daily rosary, which is something that I've always really wanted to um, develop is a daily rosary. And so I'm really grateful for that opportunity to grow in relationship with Mary. Um, I also say a litany of humility every day because I know that pride is such a root of sin. And so I want to counteract that every day. And lastly, I just try to be in constant communication with God throughout my day. I It's really just been my big focus recently and just trying to praise him with all the, all the good things that he is doing for me and working with me on and just thanking for him for all the things that I, I don't see him working on. And, but I know that he is constantly there um, when I seek him through all the ups and downs. I'm really grateful for all my time at St. Lawrence and just all the ways that that ministry, um, CSU, SBO, really helped shape and shaped myself and uh, all my experiences.